So let's do one of these bomb calorimeter problems. Uh, it says a 0 0.468 gram sample of pentane, and it gives you the molecular formula of pentane, C5H12, was burned in a bomb calorimeter. The temperature of the calorimeter and uh, 1.00 kilograms of water in it rose from 20.45 degrees Celsius to 23.65 degrees Celsius. The heat capacity of the calorimeter by itself is 2.21 kilogram kilojoules per degree Celsius, and the specific heat capacity of water is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. What is the heat of combustion per mole of pentane? So this one, it's not asking for what the heat of combustion of the reaction that you did is. It's per mole of pentane. So it gives you the mass of the pentane. So you're going to have to convert that to moles. So watch out about that. Okay. So um, I guess the thing that we want to do, I guess, is um, write down the information that the problem gives us. So uh, it says that the mass of pentane is 0 0.468 grams. Um, it says that the mass of water is 1.0 kilogram. Uh, we're going to convert that to grams. So. gives us the temperature initial is 20.45 degrees C. Gives us the temperature final, 23.65 degrees C. So um, we can calculate Tf, which, or change in T, which is Tf minus Ti. So, 23.65 um, So the heat capacity of the calorimeter it gives you two. So C cal is 2.21 kilojoules per mole, or sorry, per degree Celsius. And of course, the specific heat of water is 4.184 joules per gram degree Celsius. Okay, so how do you do this problem? So the way to do this problem First, you've got to figure out what is the heat that got from your particular reaction. So the Q total is going to equal the Q of the water plus the Q of the calorimeter, because that's the whole system. So we'll move this over here. So remember, M, C, delta T, okay? So M, in this case, remember that's the 3, 6, 2. So if you want to, you can say 1.0 of the 10 to the 3 grams. Uh, M, C, 4.184 joules per 1 gram, 3, C. And delta T, 3.20. I like to put brackets. And then do it again. So, in this case, notice there's no mass unit for your calorimeter. Okay, so it's just that's the heat capacity. So, 2.21 kilojoules per one degree C. 
um, times of the same delta t, 3.20. Okay, is everybody okay with that formula? What so, equation is that? So this is the equation for the bomb calorimeter. So Q total equals QH2O plus Q cap. That's the equation. Okay. So let's go ahead and cancel out our unit. There. So hopefully you guys can see that here we're getting joules, here we're getting kilojoules, okay? And in this problem, I forgot to mention to you guys, it's asking for in megajoules per mole, okay? So let's just go ahead and calculate this first. 1,000 times 4.184. divided by a thousand. So I'm just going to keep this as 13.39 kilojoules. Okay, so I took this and divided this by a thousand to get kilojoules. And then we're going to add that to 2.21 I don't know what that is, it's 7 point something, but 20.46 kilojoules. So this was 7 point. Okay, so did everybody get to here with me? Okay. So that's the Q total for this reaction. Okay, but that is, a, I mean, if this were the answer, then it, this would be one mole. But we don't know if this is one mole because we haven't calculated the number of moles of this, right? So let's figure out the number of moles. So how do we do that? We have to figure out the molar mass of this stuff. Okay, so 12.01 times 5 plus... 12 times 1.08, 72.146 grams per mole. So let's figure out the number of moles that we have. So this is a side calculation over here. Number of moles of pentane. So that's how many moles of pentane you have. So if we're looking for the um, combustion, the heat of combustion per mole, right? This is the heat of combustion per this many moles. So we want to know the heat of combustion per mole. All we've got to do is take that number and divide it by this number, 6.49 times 10 to the negative 30 moles. And that will give us kilojoules per mole. Everybody okay with that? So when we do that, we're going to get, and I'm just taking this out to a bunch of sig figs for right now, four or five kilojoules per one mole. Okay? And remember, I wanted it in megajoules per mole. So, 1,000 
kilojoules per one megajoule. So when we do that, we get well, three point one five. Megajoules per mole. Okay. Is everybody okay with that one? Now remember the stuff you all you know already. You just got to put it next to each other, step by step by step. Any questions on that one? Remember, it's all about canceling units. <coughs> Um, because it doesn't matter. Because the, this is a bomb calorimeter. It's not like the coffee cal calorimeter. It's just you're measuring the heat that's given off by the sample that's absorbed by the calorimeter and the water itself. Okay. So this is effectively a different type of um, problem than those uh, coffee cup calorimeter problems. Okay. So remember, it'll say bomb calorimeter to allow you to remember. Any other questions? That was a good one.